Absolutely a pleasure to be here this morning uh, with the Manufacturing Roundtable, uh, including both the manufacturers and educators to kind of share our new space that we have. Uh, it's an exciting time. It's been a, an unbelievable three years to, to get to this point. Um, and it really starts with um, a great team that started this off, and that includes um, Greg Winkler, Pete Batar, Chuck Staley, and uh, we worked tirelessly over the last three to four years to make this day happen. I want to thank uh, those four individuals, uh, or those three individuals, uh, for all their effort over the last several years. And I also want to thank Mike Frischkorn as well. Mike has uh, moved over to uh, Carmel, and, uh, but he, he was also very instrumental in, in getting a lot of this done. And then in the back, we have private industries that are moving in with us. This facility isn't just about Purdue. The uh, private industries in the back are going to be our partners, uh, whether they're helping with internships or with projects. But with Steve, he's providing a service not only to Purdue, we've, uh, worked, we're working through a partnership agreement with Steve uh, through his Lean Environment Simulator. And uh, we'll be doing a tour. Uh, after the tour, make sure you please stop and see Steve and his Lean Environment Simulator if you're a manufacturer educator. This is a one of, really almost a one of a kind system. And so I wanna bring up Steve and Sweeney from the uh, uh, Center for Employee Development. Steve uh, is originally from Michigan, is coming here uh, and is supporting uh, our efforts uh, here in Anderson, Madison County. Steve. Thank you very much, Corey. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how to lead off of this because I don't wanna spend a lot of time on it because I don't wanna waste your time. Uh, most of you are familiar with lean. Uh, typically associated with manufacturing, and that's where it started, but it applies to health uh, as well as uh, transactional spaces, office spaces. My largest customer was Caterpillar. I worked with them for two years at developing their lean system. I worked with uh, Wells Fargo as my largest transactional uh, customer. And lean can improve. It is not an experiment. Lean will improve an organization. Uh, I have one customer uh, that has uh, one-offs. They don't do any kind of large production. It's a collision shop. And uh, their uh, improvement in net profits was 300% at one location and 450% in another location after two years of working with them. Uh, worked with uh, the state of Washington. Uh, saved the taxpayers $20 million a year in ongoing savings for the taxpayers. Uh, so there's, there's just a, a, a large uh, number of organizations that have testified if you do lean and you do it right, it will benefit the organization. Uh, but this lean simulator is uh, somewhat unique. Uh, there's about 70 to 75 of them in the world, and that doesn't sound so neat, unique, but uh, only about five of them are open to the public. And so we're excited about that here. Uh, the other four are located in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. So all in the Southeast region. And so this is just something we're excited to uh, bring to you. And I'd be more than happy to talk with you about what we can do. Uh, it's a one day training opportunity that will help people from owners, CEOs, to understand how lean should look and operate on the floor to the worker who says, my company's doing lean, I'm gonna have to work harder. And in reality, they find out through the training they're not working harder. They're really working smarter and we want their minds, not just their hands and their back. Uh, so look forward to meeting you uh, individually during the tour or afterwards if you'd like to stick around and talk. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ross and I'm the co-author with Jeff Liker of the Toyota Way to Service Excellence. I'm an unbelievable Toyota geek and I have the amazing opportunity to be here today at the Skill Point Simulation and actually work with and touch things from Numi. If you love Lean, if you're interested in learning how you can be more effective, more efficient um, in the, any kind of work you do, manufacturing services, I really suggest you come here, do the simulation, learn about the Toyota way, and you will have just as uh, amazing a time as I have today. My name is Jim Hunsinger with Lean Frontiers, and my organization actually, I guess I would say, we build communities within the Lean community. So we put on conferences, or we, as we call them, summits, on subjects around accounting, lean accounting, training within industries, um, lean product development, uh, lean HR, 
and a variety of other things involved in a lean enterprise. So with that, uh, what we do is try to help companies and organizations develop their own lean system, their own lean enterprise. And the reason we're here in, in, at the Purdue facility uh, in Anderson is we actually are in a partnership with a couple other organizations and with the um, manufacturing simulator. And what the manufacturing simulator is for is in order so we can train people on techniques and skills around the lean enterprise and also the TWI training or specifically job instruction training, which is a foundational skill over with the manufacturing simulator. So job instruction training is one of the critical foundational uh, skills that was developed during World War II but utilized at Toyota even to this day. So it's really a, a foundational skill for organizations that want to learn how to continuously improve, how to run their operations effectively, and how to develop their people. So with this, in the skill point workshop, we bring those two together, a manufacturing environment that people can learn in a, in a sense, almost a live manufacturing environment, along with the job instruction training and how those two things function together. So people develop the skills and experience that they can take back to their organizations to help their organizations become successful. Orange marks, those are, those are critical marks. If you'll notice, we've got orange marks on the cab, we've got some orange marks on the conveyor, and we've got orange marks on the floor. It's a fixed, that's a fixed position, okay? Those have FPS, so position stops. So this, this conveyor line, it will keep running, but it's too big, okay? Stop the stop. So this is an index point, okay? So, the, the key thing about it is, is, for example, if I was looking at job one, and then this point mark comes across that line, this becomes my cab. So when this cab goes across that one line, it becomes a two. Okay. You only work on your cab. You can't work on a cab, you don't want to work at the time. Okay? So, that, that's something that you can do. And the idea behind that is you should have enough ideas. If you don't, something's wrong. My name is Steve Answeeney. I'm with Center for Employee Development. And we have recently relocated our lean training system to Anderson, Indiana. We're excited for our partnership with Purdue University and look forward to serving the community to help improve the manufacturing base and uh, the service base as well. Lean is basically a process of reducing waste and we can do that whether it's a manufacturing process or a service process. Uh, one of the things we have associated with our work is a job board. Uh, every person would have a job board identifying what type of PPE they would require and again this is primarily manufacturing. Uh, we have a job rotation log and we have what we call K-cards. It's kind of like a check sheet that's done once a day. And uh, then we have a standard process sheet that helps team members see what the overall job is. And it actually is a tool that the leadership uses to observe standard work process. And then the, the most detailed level of tools is our job breakdowns, which are used when we train individuals on the process. It gives them the major steps, the key points, and the reasons, and it shows some pictures that helps them to be a little bit more effective in the training, and everyone gets the same training in the same way, so we're consistent with that. If we have a problem, we can fix it. Uh, if everyone's getting different training, we don't know where we're at, so that's the purpose of using the job instruction training process. Just have around quarter.